your eyes flutter open. The dim light from a gently swaying fixture almost nauseates you as you attempt to reach out for your now throbbing head, only to find your hands bound by chains. The feel of cold stone against your back reminds you of your current surroundings. You, my friend, are a guest of the great King Seidel. This was not at all how you had expected this night to end, of course. You of all people knew of the wickedness that has been eating its way into the hearts of this kingdom, but you never expected the very core of the Empire to be sullied in such a way. Attempting to fight the dull pulsations of pain, you go over your last vivid memories. Your attention, your attention please. Allow me to introduce our most venerable ruler, King Nsido. And now, will the regional ambassadors please approach? Ah, excellent, excellent. Uh, as you can see, your majesty, may I introduce the Lady Veritrima of Holm, Lord Imagri of Dyson Liu, Lord Olex of Tlion, and Lady Elizon of Rigor. We've also received word that <laughs> these four are responsible for the poison which has infected the minds of your beloved populace, your people, your majesty. What you see before you are the four horsemen of the rebellion. <gasps> Seize them. I want them bound immediately. The four horsemen of the rebellion. That's what they called you. You had heard your name thrown around in circles before with that, but never had you met the individual standing by your side on that night. Well, after that, it was quite simple. All of you were brutally beaten and tortured for information. The screams of pain echoing through the room as each of you in succession were questioned. Watching, waiting for your turn. None of you released any information though. And as far as you were concerned, you had none to give. Shaking your head to clear the fuzziness, your eyes began to focus on the room around you. To your sides, the other three prisoners were chained as well. Two to the left, one on your right. A guard lay lazily on a cot across the room, soundly snoring. The only thought on your mind though, self-preservation. Even though you had not met these individuals beside you, you have heard rumors and tales for many a year, and each was just as conniving as the next. This party was supposed to be just a quick stop in the grand scheme of your travels. Your true objective lying far from here, a mission more serious, more dangerous than any you'd been charged with to date. Looking around, you take note of the three doors, one on each wall, on the walls before you. You rise just enough to get a better visual, noticing the guard has a set of keys dangling from his belt. No doubt, the keys to the locks on your hands and feet. To the door in front of you, another set of keys dangled. Possibly the keys to the doors to the exterior of this room. Now, looking to your sides, you notice your fellow prisoners all seem to be passed out from exhaustion. Doesn't seem like any aid will come from them. You continue to scan the room, noticing a table with a small buckler. It might be within your reach. You also see a whip and a pair of spike-like pins, possibly from the nearby Iron Maiden. The pins look dripped and dipped in blood. Glancing over, you see they may have been used recently on one of the other prisoners. 
with all this information in mind, it is now your chance to choose. You will choose where to start your escape. Which item do you feel will get you out faster? The pair of spike pins, the small buckler, or the whip? If you choose to go with the pair of spike pins, skip forward to part two. If you choose a small buckler, go to part three. And if you choose the whip, well, your destiny lies on part four. Good luck, adventure. And we'll see if you make it out of this alive. <laughs>